Hi! Recently I did a video about this. This is the Zoyi ZT702S and it's a digital oscilloscope multimeter combination. I decided that it might be a good idea to make a couple really short videos about things that the average do-it-yourselfer, weekend warrior, beginner, hobbyist might be able to use something like this with. So what we have right here, this is a Newtone IM4006 that's been totally rebuilt and it's actually going back to the customer today. In a 4006, there is a cassette player. One of the very last things you have to do when you do the final setup on a 4006 is you have to make adjustments to the cassette player for tape speed and to peak up the audio signal by adjusting the head. And when you do that, you use a calibration cassette like this. This is a highly precise cassette mechanism. It has a 3000 Hertz sine wave or tone on it. And you can buy these online. There's guys that make these. They have super precise cassette recorders, not just your average thing you bought at Sears for $14 in the 70s. I've made other videos about how to do this. So it's not really a video about how to adjust the 4006 as much as how you could use this little pocket digital oscilloscope to perform this task. The waveform that you were looking at when at the beginning of the video was simply the waveform that you see when you play music on the set. That was just a FM radio station here local in the Chattanooga area. You see all those kind of lines. That was a very popular thing. Lots of high end high fidelity receivers and tuners in the late 60s and early 70s had little oscilloscope things on the front of them and you could see the signals and it was all very enticing I guess. What we're going to do is we're just going to adjust the head placement or the azimuth of the head to make sure that we get all of the signal off the cassette tape that we possibly can, therefore improving the fidelity and sound when you play a tape. I just have this hooked up through a standard. It's actually not even an oscilloscope probe. It's a pretty standard RG6 cable with BNC connectors on the end. On this end down here on the back of the 4006, it's got an adapter on it because it plugs into an RCA jack. That's all that it is. So we're gonna turn the tape on and you're going to see the sine wave. I've already adjusted the motor previously to make sure it shows the right speed. You need a frequency counter to adjust the motor speed to make sure that you're getting the true correct speed for it so the tape doesn't play too fast or too slow. But now we're going to adjust the head. And if you watch the sine wave, which is what we're looking at here, we're going to, I'm going to grossly misadjust it and you're going to see it will diminish to virtually nothing because now the head is not tracking in the center of the tape as it should. It's not actually the center because cassettes have two tracks, but regardless, we're going to turn it back and all you're going to do is we're going to peak it up. That seems like it should be right. Now the thing we can also do is we can, oops, wrong way. We can increase this waveform size and that gives us a little better resolution. And now we can fine tune it. See, there's way off and then back up. And when you reach the peak, if you keep turning, you'll go past it and then the signal will diminish yet again. So what you want is you want the peak. Right there. About right. This is really not about how to adjust a 4006. This is really about something that's very simple that you can use a device like this for if you're a hobbyist, maybe you're an audiophile, maybe you have a cassette player, and maybe you want to check and see if the, if the tracking on the head is exactly right. Something like this will allow you to do that easily. There's lots of different uses for it, and as I come up with them, I'll make more videos. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps for someone it will be helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that helps us just a little bit. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, click on it to receive all notifications. And every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.